Ali, good afternoon. My name is Jane Nishida. I am the Assistant Administrator for International and Tribal Affairs at the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. In addition to the announcement that Assistant Secretary Medina made earlier uh, today, I am pleased to be able to announce that the U.S. government is investing $895 million through 21 commitments to combat marine pollution. This will be through the work of the US EPA, USAID, NOAA, the National Science Foundation, the Department of State, the Department of Energy, and the National Institutes of Standards and Technology. In particular, the US Environmental Protection Agency is committing $542 million to reduce land-based sources of pollution into our oceans, which we heard just uh, from one of our panelists account for 80% of all marine pollution into our oceans. This work will include $350 million in improvements to recycling infrastructure, including reducing plastic waste. $132 million to improve water infrastructure and invest in nature-based solutions that will greatly reduce pollutant polluting pollutant loadings and protect valuable marine ecosystems, and $60 million to support the reduction of nutrient loadings into watersheds that uh, are affected by hypoxic uh, dead zones, uh, as in the case of the Mississippi River watershed and the Gulf of Mexico. We heard it's probably appropriate that the Marine Pollution Panel was the last thematic panel of the Our Oceans Conference, because I think marine pollution shows the interconnectedness of the other issues that we've discussed in the last two days. The interconnectedness between mean pollution and climate change in terms of blue economy, fisheries, maritime uh, security, as well as the way of life for indigenous uh, communities, and I might say also the way of life for surfers, as we heard just now. And so it is appropriate that we take heed to what our youth uh, representative told us just a few minutes ago, that we are the big fish, the governments, the industry, the academia, the NGOs, and that it is our obligation to help the little fish, the youth. And so with these commitments, the US wants to support, as a big fish, the little fish of the world. Thank you.